On today's episode of Chroma Digitizing, I'll be showing you how to transfer a file from your computer to your machine in three easy steps. And you'll want to stick around until the end because I've got some bonus stuff for you too. Step one, downloading the file. You can either make the file yourself or downloading. In this case, we're gonna show you how to download a file. If you're looking for inspiration and not sure where to look, you can always go to hoopmade.com and find all the files you need. You can create a free account right on Hoopmade. With the annual membership, you save 20%. So the starter is five, the pro is 10, and the master is 15. On the monthly subscription, it's $6 for the starter, 12 for the pro, and 18 for the master. The Hoopmade library has an extensive amount of files. Each file has been expertly digitized and tested through and through to assure quality and reliability. Here in the animals, take a look at this nice angler fish. I think this is one of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. In order to download it, you're gonna pick the size. The format that Chroma uses is DST, and each file comes in many different sizes. Once you're ready, you can download it. In this case, because it is a premium file, it's not gonna let you download it. In order to download these, you do need a subscription, and you can upgrade it at any time. Let's see what else we could find. I wanna do a turtle on a hat. Let me see if we could find a nice turtle. Hey, look, did you see the pocket cat? It just went up there. Let's see, we got all these different animals, all different styles, silhouettes, little caricatures. There it is, there's my turtle. So once I select my turtle, I'm going to pick my size and I wanna make it in a hat so it's three by three. And I'm gonna pick DST and download. Once you click the download, it's gonna ask you, are you sure you wanna do it? So just click yes and you'll watch it pop up into your download folder. Once downloaded, go to your download folder and open that up. And there it is. Step two is to transfer the file from your computer to your USB. Your USB should be 16 gigs or less. In this case, I'm using a little port, a USB port. I'm plugging in my USB and you'll see it pop up right there. So I'm gonna take that file and just drag it right into my USB stick. So take it, drag it, and right there, click and drag. And that's it, it should be in my USB. Once it's copied, I'm going to eject my USB. Finally, step three, you're gonna take that USB, put it on your machine, and we're gonna show you how to load it in. For this example, we'll be using the 10s panel, but it's gonna work the same for the 8s or the 7s, or at least very similarly. Remove your USB from the computer once it's been ejected. If you're using a PC, you can plug it in the same way, and once you're done with the downloading process, which is similar, you're gonna click that little arrow, click the USB, eject it, and then you can safely pull it out once you have that message. Now take your USB and plug it into one of the two ports on your panel, and you should get a check USB storage message. Once you get that, you can go ahead and select design and scroll through the files until you find the one you want. Make sure you find and click the one that does not have the little dash. It should just be the regular one. So we're gonna do the three by three tribal turtle and hit select. And there it is, that's the one we want. So once you click on select, you're gonna save it to the machine and you can either make a new folder, but in this case, I'm just gonna save it to one Carl and save. Now we're gonna to go to the machine file or the machine folder and we're gonna look for that folder, which is the Carl one, there it is. And once we click it, it's gonna pop up. So we're gonna select it. And we are ready to embroider. So once I have it, I'm gonna select my colors. In this case, I want a nice red turtle and with little yellow accents. You can see them right there. Yeah, let's go ahead and save that. Make sure that it's on automatic manual. And there we go. Let's put it in embroidery mode. We're ready to go. We're gonna trace and we're gonna put our hoop in and start it. There she goes. Once it's done, you just take out your design and let's take a look at it and enjoy. So that's how you download and put a file onto a USB and place it in your machine. Before I go into the bonus footage, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know when we're coming out with the next great episode. And now for the bonus footage, I'm gonna show you how to transfer the file from the computer directly to the machine through Wi-Fi. In order to send the file directly to your machine, you're gonna to have to open it in Chroma. So here we open Chroma and I'm gonna select it. And there it is. 
and you can see the file is on Chroma. You can use any type of tier of Chroma. Now, when you're sending it, you're gonna go to the little sewing machine where it says send to machine, and we're gonna click that. But just so you can see that we have a different file, we're gonna add some text to this one, and I'm gonna call it turtle. There we go, we're gonna apply, and there it is. We have a three step, it's gonna be three different colors. That's gonna be great. So now we're gonna send it to the machine, uh, and just click on the machine that we want and send. And just like that, the file has been sent. So we're gonna click OK. Now let's go over to the machine. So once it's sent, you're gonna go to Select Design and you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom because we didn't put it in a folder. And there it is. That's the file that we just sent over Wi-Fi. So now it's just a matter of selecting it and embroidering. Make sure you take it off of embroidery mode so that you can load the next image. If you have any ideas for any future episodes of Chroma Digitizing, make sure you leave them in the comments below. Let us know how we're doing. We'd love to hear from you. Until the next time, keep those mouses clicking and the keyboards clacking. See you on the next one.